So the six has to be the negative. Math time, yeah. Left over. Big ones, negative six. Small ones, positive. So it's. How did you answer the time when you got the answer? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. You left it like this? Oh, uh, I don't know really what you want to do. Oh, yeah. 
So the nice thing is some of these they give you the picture, thank God. Because some of us screw ourselves up by not drawing the picture correctly. But they've got a tower here. They've got a wire going up to the top. And they tell you this distance here. At least they give you a, a symbol for it. My tower was cut in a strange way, but oh well. So wire is stretched. They tell you the wire is 20 feet long. That's nice. They'll give me something for sure. What else do they tell me there? What, which part is this just going to be D? What do they say? <laughs> right now they're racing across the roof. Which one can make you more mad faster? Alright, yes. So. The height of the tower is four feet greater than the distance D from the tower's base to the bottom of the wire. So where does D go? Bottom. Yeah, the bottom. The base to the bottom of the wire. So this is D. So what's the height of the tower? D plus four. D plus four. So this is four feet greater than that distance. So that's what I mean by it's all in how you draw that picture. It's all in how you label that picture based on what they tell you. Then they just say, find the distance. Do it. So how do you do it? What relationship I know exists in this kind of thing? What are we assuming about this tower is hopefully true? It's a 90 degree angle. That is a 90 degree angle. It's not a leaning tower, right? So now, and that looks like DT4. So, um, what relationship do I know exists in this kind of a triangle between all the sides? D times D plus 4. In this problem, it doesn't say anything about the area. If it said the area was something or other, you could say that half the base times the height equals that area, right? Some of these problems are going to be exactly like that. But this problem doesn't say anything about the area. It just gives you the side lengths. It's a right triangle, so you know that d squared plus d plus 4 squared equals 20 squared. I love it. Now the thing about this problem, how are we doing so far? No good? Of course we know that if I have a right triangle, so we're telling that straight. If I have a right triangle, good lord. That's a big if. If I have a right triangle. Hey, there you go. What's gotta be true about these sides? They all have to equal what? Something. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. What's going on? Here? All right. I'm hoping it's that. These are sides, not angles. What's got to be true about those three sides? A squared plus B squared. Okay, good old Pythagorean theorem, right? Old Greek dude. Uh, okay. Had too much time on his hands. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Right? So that's all we got over there. We, if it's the sides I know something about in a right triangle, I know I'm going to probably want to use this at some point. And now I, so I want to set up an equation that relates all the stuff that I know and don't know, and that's the one. That's, that's the one that relates what I don't know to what I know. And I can solve this equation. Now what tells me how to solve this is the fact that the D is being squared. Whenever it's a higher power on that D, I can't solve directly on by, for D. I've got to set it equal to zero, right? So what can I do over here first to kind of clean this up a little bit over here? Yeah, exactly. Foil that bad boy out there, right? So it'd be d squared plus 4d. 4d is 8d. 4 times 4 is 16. But the first and most important step, of course, is I mean, what's just d or x or whatever? But here, the formula is going to be what's key. Normally, you can kind of label the picture pretty easily. Is what formula do I want to use in this case? If they say area, what shape did you make? Write the area formula, right? In this case, they don't talk about area. They just talk about the sides of a right triangle. Okay, there you go. Pythagorean theorem. Now here, what do I get? Combine like terms. Cool. 2d squared plus 8d minus 3d4. I like it. So subtract the 400 to force it to be 0 over here. And 16 minus 400. Get out of there. A, B. Minus 384, yeah. Now that's ugly, but what's nice about that? Before you start doing 2 times 384, making it even bigger and making your life that take much two out, right? worse. Yeah, take a 2 out. Uh, where am I? Plus 
plus They are just, they are really just playing with us now. They're mad at you. Is that right? Uh, getting all that old tack off. One they just have two. scrapers up there. Like the worst job ever. Thank God I didn't give you guys a test. That was so. Plus. plus. Was it plus? No, it's a minus 400, so it's negative 4. Oh, yeah, I got Equals zero, right? Now, really, the two I can divide by two. And truly, instead of dividing by, instead of factoring two, I could have just divided everything by two because that zero eats it, right? Divide by two, zero is still zero, two's gone. I'm not going to try to factor this thing. But remember, so when that's kind of ugly, I just want to figure out two things that are four apart because they're going to be opposite signs. So start with something easy, you know, like 20 and 16, but that's 320, that's too big. Uh, 10 and 14 is 140, that's closer, right? Are you guys kind of with me here? 12 and 6, D plus 16 and D plus. It's got to be 4 apart, though. You, you mean 12 and 16? Yeah. All right. So 10 and 4, I mean, 10 and 14 make 140. That's not enough. 12 and 16 makes 192. 192, I like it. Which one's got to be? 16 is plus. 16 is positive to make the middle term positive, I like it, right? So you get D plus 16, D minus 12. So D is what? Either negative 16 or 12. Which one makes no sense in this case? Negative 12. Yeah. So my dimensions then are 2 here. 2 what? I mean 12. 12 feet. And then the other side, D plus 4, 16 feet. Hey, Jeff. On, yeah. On that uh, homework you just gave us, there was like kind of a problem like that, and it was... It was 8 plus 5, but when you set it to 0, one of them came out to negative. But with a word problem like that, it always is a positive, right? Because negative would never make sense, right? you got to be a little careful because it, it's whatever makes the – whatever makes it come out to make sense. Yeah, if yeah. I had somehow – if I had somehow like an x plus 7 and an x plus 3 there for the side lengths, yeah. and I got an answer of negative 1, yeah. that's still good. Because it makes it six and two. Yeah, but it it didn't most of the time a negative number you can throw out because most of the time there's going to be a, like a D or an X. Yeah. So if you get a negative number, that can't possibly be true. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to be careful. You can't say that oh, forever. Yeah, we should have threw it out, but it was just kind of it worked perfectly how it. Mathematically, yeah. it worked. Mathematics doesn't care if you're talking about the side lengths or what you're talking. Or talking about profit. Profit could be negative, so that would yeah. be fine, right? But side lengths. Thanks a lot, math. But I can't use that for this problem. Yeah. Yeah. So you just cross it out. Cool, please cross it out. Don't give it to me as the answer. Because then I'll be a dork and I'll say, make that for me. <laughs> make me that negative side length thing. Um, so let's look at one that's a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at number seven, maybe. Let's see. Yes, seven is perfect. by 20, picture frame, 84 square centimeters of picture shows. So do you guys get the idea here? I mean, when you look at picture frames, they've got some width to them, so they're going to cover, and you might even have mat beyond that, but thankfully you can mat into this, but you're going to cover some of the picture possibly, right? So we know that the whole thing is 12 by 20. 84 square centimeters shows. So that means here in the middle, this is 84 square centimeters, right? Now we're going to assume, and this is true for most frames, not all frames, but most frames, this width here is the same all the way around, right? They're sort of making us make that big assumption, but oh, how wide is that? I don't know, so x. So it's x all the way around. And, and this is a kind of like a famous problem, like a classic problem. You got the pool and you got the walkway, or you got the garden, you got the walkway going of uniform width is one of their favorite little phrases. So you'll see this kind of thing in your homework. What the hell do I do with this thing? And, and normally with a word problem, you're trying to relate something with variables in it to something you know. I know that the area of this is 84 square centimeters numerically. What is it algebraically? 
How long is this side? This is 20. Well, how long is what's left inside that I can see? 20 minus 2x. I like it. 20 minus 1, 2x's, right? That's how long that is. How is this? How long is that? 12 minus 2x the same way. Once you see one of these uniform width kind of walkways or whatever, they all work basically the same. They're going to be something minus 2x. These are uniform all the way around. This will be 12 minus 2x. So this is what the area of this inner thing is numerically. What is it algebraically? What do you do with those two things? Multiply. Length times width, right? You got an expression for the length, expression for the width. You multiply them out to equal this. That's where your equation comes from, right? And then you just foil it out, suck the 84 over, refactor it, right? Do you guys see why I, I can see what I have to do with this problem? I'm going to end up with the next squared, which tells me I've got to get it equal to zero and then factor it. I kind of know the process I've got to go through. Thank God at the end I'm going to be able to divide by quite a bit. I'm not going to have these crazy big numbers. So you've got 240 minus 24 minus 40 <coughs> is minus 64, right? Plus 4x squared there at the end. Just foil that out, right? Not too bad. Now bring the 84 over. Maybe write this in order, right? I don't like that at the end. Let me put it at the beginning. Subtract that 84. So I get uh, 156. Maybe. And now before you start doing like four times this and going crazy, what do you always look for with the very first step of factoring? GCF. And sure enough, four goes into all of those. Oh, what would that be? Uh, 39? So the key part, though, for this kind of problem, the worst part was drawing it so that you can tell what the hell is going on. Right? Whenever you have this uniform width around and you don't know what the hell it is, it's x, which means whatever this used to be is now 20 minus 2x. You've got to subtract those off on each end. Once you get this set up, it's just, just crank it out. Foil, suck this thing over, factor. This one's nice to factor because there's really only one way to factor this besides 1 and 39. What else goes in 39? Uh, 13 and 3. 13 and 3, which makes 16. That's cool, right? Did I leave a minus off somewhere? Or did I do here? It's supposed to be oh, it's supposed to be plus. There. Thank you. And so 39 is supposed to be plus. Thank God, because they both have to be the same sign for the 16, right? But see, I mean, I'm the first guy in the world to tell you I make mistakes, but I know how to catch them. So you have to, what did I just do? I kind of said 39 would work if they could both be negative, but if that's minus, they can't both be negative. Oh shit, okay, what did I do? Oh, I, I should be, be a plus there, okay, thank God. <clears throat> so don't just, don't just force it if it's not gonna work. Don't give up when I go, shit, man, it all is working, is wrong. No, just go, that had to be plus, is it plus? Yes, it's plus, okay, there you go, I'm fine. Everything's fine. So I get uh, x minus 13, x minus 3. So x could be 3 or 13. Now here's where you notice something. Um, if x were 13, what's 20 minus twice 13? It's a negative number. So see, this is what I was trying to say earlier about you can't just in general throw out all your negatives. 13 is too big it actually makes this come out to be a negative number, right? So I've got to throw the 13 out because it doesn't make physical sense. 13 makes this negative six. <laughs> How can you be negative six centimeters? That's freaky. So throw the 13 out. The, the three works fine. And what are they asking for? The dimensions of the, well, they just wanted, all they wanted was the, the width of the frame, right? And we got x is 3 centimeters. Yes? And this might be a dumb question, but you know how you have that 4 on the outside of the boiled out? If it's equal to 0, you can always throw that away, right? Yeah. In fact, right here, I almost did this. You could just divide by 4, really. 
You don't have to take a 4 out, you can just divide by a constant. Okay. You don't want to divide by a variable because it could be 0. Only if it's equal to 0. If it's zero. a constant, okay. you can divide by it, just, it doesn't even have to be there because it doesn't give me an answer. Okay. Cool. All right, all right. Uh, here, this is not quite that ugly, but you guys try this one, number 13. It says the triangular entrance to a tent. Which one is going to be just x or whatever you want to call it? The width or the height? The width. The width, the width is going to be whatever, x. What's the height then? X plus 2. This is 2 feet taller than it is y. Does it make you just walk in, hopefully? So how do you relate? See what I'm talking about? Here's the number they gave me. Here are the algebraic names i got to use. you got to match up the number with the idea from algebra. So this is the area of the triangle in numbers. What's the area of the triangle in algebra? One half base times I like it. One half base times height is the area. So the area is 12. The base is x. The height is x plus 2. There you go. What's the very first thing you can do if you don't like part of this? That one half of it. Yeah, multiply by... Two. So I kill that. There you go, like that. Right? Now I know at this step you could guess until you get it. At this step you can guess until you get it. And people will argue with me, I got the answer, what's the matter? What's the matter is this is algebra class, right? So you, we're here to learn algebra. I totally understand that. A lot of you guys can know the answer just by looking at it. They made it easy, so of course you can. Now learn the algebra. How do you continue with this? What do you do? Multiply Good. Well. So multiply this through. And what tells me what to do next? Because of the fact that I can't get my x's together. I have to have another way to solve this. So make that 0. Move the 24 over. Right? 
I always get somebody at this step tell me x is 24 or x plus 2 is 24. Why are they wrong? Do you see where they came from? Yeah. They're being overly optimistic, right? Mm -hmm. It's only a zero that here is, that makes that work. 24, there's a ton of ways to make 24. X doesn't have to be 24. In fact, if x is 24, that's 26. How does that multiply by 24? It doesn't work. No good. Once I get this over here and get it equal to zero, I can factor it and see the answers. It's because of that higher power on the x. I can't get my x's together. I can't do it the old way. I've got to do it the new factored way. Plus 6 minus 4. I like it. So plus 6 minus 4. You get x's. 4. 4, four or negative 6. Throw that negative 6 out. Be careful, don't just, not, don't just not write it down. Then I'm worried that you're getting both answers. Write it down and cross it out. So mathematically, you got the answers, and you chose the right one for the physical situation. So the width is 4 feet, and the height is 6 feet. Cool. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Okay. So... This works out okay. I was not planning on doing too much more. I just want to show you a couple of things for a preview of chapter six, and then we're going to head out, and they'll probably be done by then. Yeah. Can you show us a table problem like 29, 30 and stuff? Because I couldn't figure that out. Oh, yeah. That was oh, did I sign up? Yeah, let's take them off. Right. And I think I do remember we did in the in the calculator we did the stat thing. We put the we put the x and y. We put list one, list two. Remember doing that? And we plotted it. And I told you you could do like lines. You could do. Uh, and I think I even got to the point where we got a and b, didn't we? Y equals a x plus b. Didn't we do that linear regression? You guys, some of you guys are like, that feels like it was 18 years ago. Which one did you say they take off? 30 off of what? 29 and 30. Uh, Section 5.8. Oh, 30, okay. So I just didn't stop it quick enough. Yeah, so you don't have to do 30. If you want to know how to do that, you can come see me, but it's, uh, like I was telling you guys before, remember when we were looking at problems like can a lot, would that be good for a linear function? Yes. Would this be good for a linear function? No. It'd be good for a quadratic function, though. And your calculator could actually fit a parabola as close as it could to those points. And that's what you do in real life. You observe something, you try to make an equation that will help you predict other things around that. Okay, so yeah, don't do that. So a real quick little uh, preview of this, and I'm gonna start off really nice. Um, which one of these can you reduce? Yeah, you guys are like, is there a trick question? Yeah, no, no trick question. This reduces y. This is 5 goes in both. Yeah, this is 5 times 2, this is 5 times 3, so those 5's cancel, right? So you get 2 thirds. Now, this cannot reduce, I don't care that 15 is, uh, or even that, let's do it this way, 11 is 5 plus 6. Why, why, why doesn't that matter? <laughs> we know this can't reduce. Can I do this? No. no. Exactly why can I not? Because 11 over 15 is 11 divided by 15. You can't put addition on top of. Put those together. You're almost there. This is cool. This is the closest somebody's ever come to answering my question. You can't, awesome. you can't do an addition property with division or multiplication. I like it. Division cannot cancel addition. Is that simple? Right? Here, what is going on here? What's the operation? Multiple, oh, division eats multiplication up for lunch, right? It'll, it'll kill that. It can't do shit to this. But the minute I write this down, what do you think people do? They cancel, they cancel the x. It's the same. It's just as silly. Now, it's not quite as silly because this is freaky. I understand. There's a bunch of variables in there. You see x's, you want to kill them, right? Two different <laughs> variables die. But it, it makes as little sense as this would, right? That doesn't make any damn sense. This makes as little sense as that does. If it were this, what could I do? Then I can cancel the x's out, right? Because multiple division cancels multiplication. Here, I can't do shit with that. I could if I really wanted to break it up like this. 
Normally I really don't want to do that, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, so what does that have to do with anything? Well, what if I have this here? So the first thing you do is to stop yourself from scratching out the x's and reducing the 3 and the 9. You can't do that. Even though sometimes it looks like that was done, it just is a coincidence. You got to be careful. What can you do with this stuff? Back to the bottom one. Exactly. So when it's numbers, I really don't have to do this step. In fact, some of you guys are like, what the hell is he doing that for? But when it's letters, when it's variable expressions, I have to show myself the factorization. I'm not used to it like I am this 5 times 2 is 10. Here, can't do shit with the top, but what can you do with the bottom? X plus 3, X minus 3. And now what dies? Now you can cancel it. That dies. The answer is not this, though, right? It's 1, it's one, one over. over. I like it. Right? That's not that bad. What's going to suck for you is chapter 6 is going to be impossible for you if you cannot factor. If you can't, obviously. Almost every section in 6 has some step that involves factoring. So the, le the less comfortable you are with factoring, the more impossible 6 will be. So don't try 6 at all until you feel pretty good about factoring, right? Because that's you're going to need it to be able to do anything in 6. So the kind of problems you're going to see, here's the here's next level up here. See what you think about this. Um, oh, Jeff, you're going to get in trouble here now. the same thing you do with a problem like this, or at least what you should do. A lot of you guys, for some reason, don't do this, but when you have a problem like this, you should try cross-reducing, right? 1, 2, 1, 5. 1 times 2 is 2, and then 5. Same thing you want to do here. You want to try to factor, 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 factor. You cannot cancel anything out until you have only multiplication and division. Then you can kill a lot of crap, right? But I still get people like, oh, uh, there's one A. No, 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 you can't do shit. There's minuses and pluses and stuff. You can't do that. Why right, do you factor the top here? I love it. So it's a difference of squares. What can come out of the bottom here? Careful. An A. Now, let me do this. Normally, you shouldn't do this. But it was just an A I took out. I can still see the numbers here, right? Well, what's going to work? Oh, if I make this a plus, it'll yeah, work. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe some tap when we're trying to make a problem on the spot. But, so we're cool with that. We saw that it should be a plus. A minus would never work. They have to be the same sign to make 9 and 20. What are those two things? A minus 5, A minus 4. Cool. What comes out of the top? B. And how do you do the bottom here? Let me give it away. It's two terms, it's got to be cubes. A minus four. Beautiful. So this A is A, 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 so it's A minus 4. The other two A's go here, the other two 4's go there. What's the middle term going to be? Plus 4A. I like it. So, do you see why if you can't factor, this is going to be impossible. Yeah. Before you even factor that, couldn't you uh, cross divide? A squared minus 16, and no way, huh? Only if you were going to do like a long division thing, which we haven't yeah, talked right. about, which I would rather not do, yeah. right? Uh, Again, you cannot cancel pieces out still until it's all multiplied. Now, see how everything's multiplied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now the division will kill things. Yeah. What goes away? The A minus 4 is dead. Mm -hmm. And the A minus 5. A minus 5 is dead. Hey. Oh. Anything else? The A minus 4. Goes out with what? A minus 4. It's already gone? Oh, on the other one. Is. But that's already gone. There's nothing for him to cancel mm. with also, right? Okay. So I did this for a couple reasons. He's dead already. You can't kill him also. Mm. And these are not the same, so they can't cancel either. So right? So you have to now, here's the hard part. What's Who's the survivors? Mm. So it all depends how messy you are. you got to be real careful a with how messy you are. A yeah. plus 4. B times A plus 4. And then 
times a minus four. Times the big dude here, right? Yes. A squared plus four a plus sixteen. Write down the survivors at the end. I know it's very. I always imagine like a scene from Three Hundred or something. Go, bud. This is what survived. Um, a lot of times you're going to see in an original problem, you're going to see a trinomial that won't factor. Look for a cube. Maybe he's the big dude that's going to cancel with the other big dude. Right? Yes, sir. Um, do you want us to leave our answers factored like that? or do you want us to Leave, leave it like factored that? because uh, at the end, you want to make sure you didn't miss anybody. And multiplying it out doesn't make it different. You know? yeah. So this is just as good as uh, multiplied out form is. This is actually a little better because you can see that it can't go any further. So don't multiply stuff back out. It's just a waste of time. Leave it like this. Okay. Cool. We don't, we don't factor out the, the big dude. Big dude. What is it about the big dude? It can, <laughs> cannot, be factored. cannot be factored. It can never be factored unless you left the GCF in, which is not going to happen a lot. It can never, ever be factored. Yeah. I think it's plenty. All right. So tomorrow we'll... Uh, officially get into chapter six. I'll have the updated homework sheet starting at uh, section 4.4, I think, so you can see all the new dates. Oh, you did it the same day. Okay, wait again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.